Okay. Well, this... This is... What, what is wrong with you? What's happening to your face? <laughs> Alright. This is, um, paratopic. So, neither here nor there. This is a really peculiar little game. I recommend checking it out. But anyways, so, as you can see, we have some text dialogue. And... I wanted to make a little touch menu. And it, well, I guess, yeah, I have to sort of... A little bit of background. So, I'm a full convert to left trackpad movement now. And because of that, you know, I always put radial menus on, like, a modifier for right pad. But this game, there, there aren't a ton of controls. And I wanted to put touch menu on the left stick. But I really do not like clicking the stick. It just, that feels like a really clunky interaction. So, to that end, I was fiddling around and I just wanted to share this. Maybe you already know it, maybe you don't, but when I come across something, I like to try to let you know. So, what I have going on here, like, alright, so we have the choice. So let's, uh, let's go with why me. So I stop. No, it's hard. It's actually a little difficult to see what's happening. But what I'm doing is I went with an always on input, which personally I I really hardly ever use that. Like I kind of struggle to see the reason for that unless you're putting like almost like mobile touchpad type controls like you want things always on the screen that you're constantly interacting with I didn't want to always be interacting I want to make it deliberate so I choose these so what you do is give it a long press activation style and then you can fiddle around with the long press time so like I have four choices, and just for spacing, I gave it some more, and then these ones I cranked all the way up, so I'm pretty much never selecting five unless I hold on it for, like, a full five seconds. You can see how long it takes. Like, I can cycle through them. Like, uh, I want four. Boom, there it is. Uh, I want one. There it is. It's not a super long... I mean, I can key that delay down. For this one it's clearly not time sensitive so I gave it a little bit like yeah I have to I want that. Okay go no no change whoop whoop yeah that there so, so as you can see I'm really not going to select those unless it's very very deliberate I'm sorry so, well, anyways, I'm not going to play the game. I just wanted to show you this as a style if you want to put touch menu on the stick, or really, I mean, anywhere, but just using that always on with a long press. That it feels pretty darn nice. I dig it. Oh, he's getting intense. But anywho, so yeah, that's um, just a quick little tip for you. I've also, I mean, I've I've used that too, like in a first-person shooter. I put, you know, so full pull, normal full pull. I would put regular press is still left mouse for fire, and then a lowered time long press is reload. So it has to be like a more deliberate, you definitely want to reload, so you hold it a little bit. But yeah, it, I'm fiddling around, you know, figuring out some new things. No big deal. I just wanted to share that as a little tip. It feels pretty good in practice, so that's really all I got. Short one today. All right, I will see you around.